neighbors. So we're at the new Garden Sparkling Market. It's over off of Colonial and Kirkman. And uh, came in here, find some interesting stuff. We just had lunch. They want to vlog lunch, I didn't feel right there, but uh, we had lunch over at Crazy Buffet. Really good, really good. Recommend it. You're over here in the uh, Orlando area. So let's look what we can find. It's very odd and different for anything. As soon as you walk in, you come across what I believe are also called century eggs. So like they're fermented duck eggs and preserved duck eggs and then they got like cooked salted duck eggs up here. Even more up here. Alkalized and cooked duck egg. Interesting. These are banana leaves and inside is sticky rice dumplings with uh, usually uh, red, bean. red bean paste. We had it over, we actually had little mini ones of these over at uh, the Crazy Buffet, they're really good. Are you on a gluten-free diet? I don't recommend buying these. <laughs> they're apparently pure gluten. They're very light though. They're very light, but they're pure fried gluten. Yeah! <laughs> we found fish balls. They also have uh, bean, oh, beef meatballs. Those are beef, sorry, I couldn't read it out because it was all crumbled. But yeah, they have all kind of like meatballs and seafood. Those are yam noodles. I, I don't know much about most of these things. There's some uh, Shandong noodles, which you know you couldn't put those in an American market. Everyone just laugh at them. A, boil, a boiled lotus root slices. I've had lotus. I, I'm not a huge fan, but they're usually pretty good. I saw these bins of stuff without that's, labels, that's and that crazy. scares the hell out of me. I don't know what this is. They have they have jellyfish. I didn't know you could eat jellyfish. I didn't know you could eat jellyfish. I think a uh, uh, vegetarian meat, so meat substitute. And what is this? This has to be something interesting. This is pickled cabbage. Okay, that's not as interesting as I thought. Something you don't see, except for maybe in an Asian market. I've never seen them. I've heard of these, they're called silky chickens. Silkies are, um, the actual skin of the chicken's black. Sorry if you're vegan. If you're vegan or vegetarian and you're watching this, Sorry. keep watching. I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna find some uh, non meat items eventually. Beef short ribs, pork belly. I don't. Is this. I hope that's tripe because I don't know what else that could possibly be. They also have like all this other stuff. Uh, this chrysanthemum tea drink and the other types of tea drinks and things like that. Fresh jelly drink. Well, I suppose you could make scrapple with these. I don't know what else you make with pig snouts, but yeah. They also have, they have duck wings. Duck wings, you could actually have really good wing party right there. What's that? Chicken feet. Chicken feet. Chicken feet. Hey guys, so as a disclaimer, I'm not meaning any disrespect to anything in this market at all. I just, it's as, so, as someone who's never seen this, I've been to a Chinese market, but never seen this much stuff before. This is a ton of stuff. I'm as amazed as I'm walking through here how much stuff is in here. I mean, like, look at this. This is uh, Bruce Coast. Ginger ale with blood orange and Meyer lemon. I might be having one of these for my way home. You're missing all of the dumplings. But there's like 
I'm looking at a thing of dumplings. Let me show you guys what I'm looking at. Look at all these dumplings. I didn't know they made this many types of dumplings. This is like an insane amount of dumplings. They have chicken. What's that one? There's one of those soup buns. There's those soup. Oh my god, I want one. So it has crab in it. Your mom can't eat that. I want one of these. These are like shrimp dumplings and pork dumplings and cabbage and and chicken and yeah. you name it, they mm -hmm. got it. This is the one without it, without the crab, it's just pork. It's good too. Here's a rare soy bean drink. It's rare, but there's many of them here, so I don't think it's that rare. It's veggie bacon ham. It's it's fake fake meat. Square cut for like sandwiches, I'm gonna guess. I don't know. But you can get that in it. Some other veggie hot dogs. Veggie hot dogs and, and so, Taiwanese chicken. What is this? What are you? Those are tuna rolls. Sliced. Fake. Veggie. They're all veggie. They're not real. They're, well, they're real food, but they're not that kind of real. Oh, look. Oolong tea. Over here, they have all kind of. Well, to be honest with you, I don't know what half this is, but it's all kind of it. They're like fish dumplings and beef, beef tendon balls. I mean, look at this. Stuff. It's like there's a whole thing of them set here, as you can just like set it up for like a small dinner. More fish balls, all kind of stuff. All right, so now we're getting into some more of a few sweet things mixed in with the savory. We've got, in this case, this is, uh, let's see if I can get, uh, guayabana, uh, bana. Uh, it's the drinks, apparently, because yeah, it comes with a straw, so, or this one actually comes with a little mini fork. This one, on the other hand, is, in fact, coconut juice. And you got more coconut juice in these little blue ones. There you go, young coconut juice. And then you got like... What? Pennywort leaves. Okay, now we're getting weird. Okay. <laughs> Even I don't know what I'm looking at. So before we were standing over in like some of their frozen and fresh stuff, over here is even more. They have a whole fresh veggies and fruit, and they have a, a seafood market and a meat market. Durian. And they have actual durian, which you do not open. Final sale frozen durian, no return, no exchange. There's a reason for that. Now, if you don't know what durian is, I'll tell you. So I'm only familiar with durian from watching uh, a few things on Food Channel. I, I've never, I've had it a few ways, like durian cookies and stuff, where you don't get the brunt force of it. Durian is one of those things that when you cut it open, it is the most disturbing smell anyone's ever had. But the taste is that of custard. And it's a delicacy, and flavor, frankly, the flavor is fine. The smell is not. So there, there's your story about the durian. And for those of you who want to make a pad thai, here's some dried shrimp so you can make your pad thai. It's a lot of dried shrimp. Here's that's more of them. This that's, is that's an octopus. That's squid. So this looks like it's dried. I know it's dried. It's dried. Um, in fact, it's oh, dried no, no, squid. It's, it's not totally dried. It's not it's totally squishy. dried. Nope. Okay, so this is like steamrolled squid. That's the best way I'm going to describe that. This is dried. That's dried squid. Well, yeah, it says dried squid right on oh, it. Oh, well, there you go. So, yeah. Look, anchovies. Like, millions of tiny little anchovies. All right, how many of you guys have gone on the... Uh, what is that? Uh, Living, Living with the Land? land? and saw those gigantic melons that just hanging from the tops. These are what they are. They're called winter melons. However, these are smaller. And these are smaller. They're round. I'm pretty sure these are the same thing. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure I'm not reasons. wrong. But they're, these are winter melons. They sell it here. Okay. Are they colored? 
So this is, says it's cauliflower, but I've never seen cauliflower like this. It's because it's blooming. It's blooming cauliflower? Yeah. Didn't know it worked that way. But broccoli does the same thing they bloom. That is so cool. But it tastes good. Look at all the fish. In case you're wondering, yes, those are alive. They look delicious too. There's some more fish out here and a bunch of shrimp. No way! They have gooey duck! I haven't had gooey duck since I left Washington State. Look at all this. Look, they have, what is this? I don't remember what those are called, but those are awesome. Those are, those are razor clams, I know that. They got stone crab. Look, you can see they have both their claws. They got snow crab, all oh, snow crab. And lobster. Dungeness crab. Okay, Dungeness crab's from where I'm from. So that's awesome. They also have Canadian lobster, which is slightly different. And they got more over here. Giant clam. Okay, that's not an alien creature sitting back there in that tank. That is a king crab. That is something you don't see whole ones usually. That thing looks like it could eat me. <laughs> the section that has all of the um, rice paper wrappers and stuff like that. These are like sea, uh, sesame seed. Those other ones have shrimp in them. There's all kinds of different ones. These are all spring roll wrappers. There's, what is that? Uh, whoa, it has like no, it has no, it's agar agar. I have no clue what you use agar agar for, but that's like, feels like nothing in that. I, I don't know what that's for though. You have uh, green, yellow, red, and white. You have more square. I've never seen square ones. All kind of wrappers. That's a lot. And I do mean a lot of chili paste. It's two kinds. We have QB mayo. That's awesome. Wasabi flavored mayonnaise. It's a regular one. Absolutely, there's a whole thing of wasabi here. And if you need honey, they've got like 12 different types of honey here. Plus like from all over the place, including ginger honey. And that one actually says it's uh, citron honey concentrate, which means it's even better, I guess. But yeah, look at all this stuff. I'm not 100% certain what this is, and I'll try to figure it out, but I love the packaging. It's very anime look. And let's see if I can figure this out. It is... Fermented soybeans. Fermented soybeans, yes. It's right there on the tag. Oh, from, it's on tag. <laughs> but I don't know what you use fermented soybeans for. But it's so cool that they have them. It must be three different flavors or doneness. So, oh, preserved lemons. Preserved lemons. Odd. Here's some chilies. We just found something very strange and unusual. They are called dry tapioca sticks. I don't know. They're, whoa, there's like different colors in them. What do you use this for? I don't know. There's more. I've never seen anything quite 
Diced one. Those are like little diced ones. Diced cassava. That's a cassava. That's cool. Well, we have found the section of the steamed buns. Uh, one of our favorite things is all the steamed buns you can get you know, over in the, uh, I believe China over in the Epcot has them, but Pandora. also a lot of, oh yeah, okay, and Pandora. Pandora has, of course, has the cheeseburger buns, which are based off of these concept, yeah. this concept of the, of the, uh, meat inside of a bao bun. And, uh, these are just really cool. There's certain ones I particularly like, which are usually from Chinese food restaurants or buffets, and that is the ones with the custards inside of them, which is something like those there. Or the one I just showed you, like, they're like right there. Sweet bean paste buns, those are also good. Um, Panda Coco, oh, that's a coconut, the coconut toasted buns back there. This is good, that's like we only have today. Chicken cabbage. Oh, man, there's tons of them. They just keep going. This is a steam with egg and coconut. This is egg. Taro. Uh, sesame paste. Pork filling ones. There's the ones Holly likes. This is the new ones we just started getting with. They're, um, they're taro buns. Oh, they're bring them purple. Home. I want you to bring them home now. Eh, grab some. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so this is like kind of like a medicine area, home goods. One of the things I noticed, uh, first thing I noticed is the American ginseng back here. Pretty, pretty potent stuff, but it's pretty expensive too. It's like true ginseng, real ginseng. I don't know what those are. That's a sea cucumber, which is still very strange to see. Up here, if I am correct, those are bird nests. Bird nest soup sets. That's pretty cool too. Then you got a kind of uh, oh, kitchen knives for one. Some kitchen knives, Tiger Balm, which is always good. I use that stuff all the time. Uh, but all kind of medicinal things, medicinal roots. This is uh, pure American ginseng. It's a lot of ginseng. This one's specifically from Wisconsin. Sorry about the glare. So we can get that glare off of there. There, pure American Wisconsin ginseng. I didn't know if you guys in Wisconsin made ginseng. That's pretty cool. I found more cookies. Well, those say they're. Rose biscuits. Okay, biscuits, cookies. Right? English people? I'm pretty sure they're English, but sold in China. These are coconut cookies, some of my favorite things right there. Yes. I have a butter biscuits. Yam and peanut. Holly found the same thing I kind of find on the other aisle. Moki. Yeah. More and more candy, and I don't know what that is. What is this? Uh, don't know. We'll figure it out. There's sugar. This just looks like there's like pure it's sugar. It's pure sugar flakes. Yes. It's probably like this. It's probably similar to this, but just sugar. Maybe they use it in something. I don't, else know. Something. I don't know. Crab chips. Shrimp chips. Tons of good crab chips and shrimp chips, yum! These aren't Chinese, they're made in California. This get for Americans taking over something again. They're so cute. They have the normal cookies I love. Adorable packaging. Those are... So, okay, over in the other aisle, they were uh, these mentioned as French donuts. I don't know why or how or what they taste like, but yeah. 
I've noticed they have like a lot of these large boxes of assorted stuff. There's like, this is a Hello Kitty thing. And inside of it is that right there. It's like these like, you know, those, those uh, kind of like hockey but reversed. And you got like, all, I noticed they also have a lot of things in tins. Tins rather than putting them in boxes like we do. So I'm wondering if that may be a, a thing that they do outside of the U.S. more than they do here. Because I've noticed that for, not only have I noticed it in Asian, but also in European stuff, and I've also noticed it a lot in um, uh, even Mexican cookies and stuff like that come in like some kind of uh, tin like these. It's pretty cool. One of, our, one of our other favorite things is scallion pancakes, and they have them here too. Sesame pancakes as well, as well as some green onion pancakes, which is pretty much the same thing as a scallion, and some shallot ones, and then some uh, plain pancakes, which you can make into regular savory or sweet, it looks like. So there's some dim sum king, cute frozen crystal shrimp dumplings. There is some glutinous rice balls. These are, okay, basically the same thing as sesame balls, which one of our favorites, but they are no sesames. They have mini rice balls of flu. That looks so cute. They're tiny. They're super tiny. I don't know if you can see that, but they're super, super tiny. So cute. Classic. Classic. Gigantic knife. <laughs> All right, so golden, sparkling supermarket. It's pretty big. From the outside, it actually like that's like the beginning of it, like over there. Well, that's the end of it. That's where we had the fresh market with all the fruits and veg, and then you come over here to the regular market and frozen and. And then over there, East Manor Restaurant is also there, so that's where we sell the ducks. So, pretty cool place. So, hey, so yeah, Holly got these. Uh, she usually can find them over in uh, the Japan Pavilion over at Epcot. And they are so much cheaper here. Um, I think only a couple bucks compared to like dollar, four over there. They were a dollar something here and about maybe four or five over at Disney. So, and I got. An entire box of these things. They're little, um, inside of here is like these little cookie balls. I'll show you the illustration on the front. Little cookie balls and stuff. And you, uh, and it comes with the little um, chocolate and, and vanilla. And it tells you how to open them on the back. And it tells you how to open them on the back. And also inside, a little sticker. Emoji sticker and little spoons to eat them with. There's little spoons in here, so that's pretty cool. This was about, I think it was about five bucks, and there's quite a few of them in here, so that that's gonna last me a while. Maybe. Uh, I think it says there's 26 of them in here. That's that's pretty good. So there's also a larger one for like a dollar more. There's like one that's twice this big. So yeah. So check out your local um, Chinese grocery stores. They have some really cool stuff uh, to find. Uh, this one is huge. Um, like I said, this one here is on the corner of Kirkman and Colonial uh, over here in Orlando. I've noticed we were just uh, doing some other stuff towards more towards downtown. Uh, if you go straight down Colonial, you actually hit like a, a little bit of a China, a China district over there. And there's lots and lots and lots of little Chinese grocery stores and restaurants and all kinds of different stuff over there. Um, you know, it, it, if you can't get to the parks, you can't do something. There's always something to do. This was like stepping into another country. This is really cool. Finding all this cool stuff that I've never seen before. Um, we have, like I guess I said, we're coming from Bradenton, even Winter Haven. We have a couple of little mar air markets there, but nothing like this. This is huge. So uh, check them out.
check them out. Um, I'm going to put a link down below if that I can find one for the, uh, for the grocery store. And I'm going to also put a link down to Crazy Buffet, which is, was really good today. So um, I recommend that. That's another one that's kind of further out on Colonial um, towards uh, past Kirkman. If you're heading, where is that? That would be west, heading west. Uh, I'm pointing in a direction. You can't see that. You don't have a compass. Anyway, uh, it's further west. I'll, I'll put a link down below. Um, other than that, guys, I uh, hope you guys are having a good time. Uh, remember to hit that like, subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon. Get you notifications, definitely, of YouTube being kind of weird lately. And uh, over and out.